Hi, Hiram here. Saturday I was over to Dick's Sporting Goods. It's a uh, sporting goods place around this area. I'm not sure how big they are, but I went over to see what they had on sale, and I came across this, the GSI Halulite Minimalist. Now it turns out somebody had already stolen the cute little pot holder. Pot holder, is that what they call it? pot gripper. Somebody had taken that and they had broken the spoon which was and so it was on sale for what $14.99 yeah $14.99 so I figured huh that's cool I didn't want the pot gripper anyway and I'm told that the spoon is kind of stupid. So I figured this would be nice to play around with. I'm sure you've seen them before. Nice little, I guess they call it halulite aluminum. Probably it's just pretty much like anodized aluminum. A couple of scratches on it, but nothing worse than what I'll get if I use it a bunch of times. A nice sippy lid. lid. One that you can boil water in and you flip it over when you want to drink out of it. That ought to be pretty cool. And it's got a nice uh, insulating sleeve that just goes on there. So I thought what I'd do today is do another boil test with this little soda can stove. This makes, I've already run 11 tests on it. I don't know, I mark them every time I run it. I've run 11 tests on it and it's still going good. So I had people ask me, you know, how long do these things last? And I don't know, I never really paid attention. But even at this, at 11 times, I don't know if you'd use it that much on a single trip, but it's so easy to make, you could just throw this away and make yourself a new one for every little camping trip you have. Anyway, what I want to do today, I think I said, was I want to compare this to a test I did on my Boy Scout pot. So what I'm going to do now is get this water up the temperature so that I can start at 60. Right now it's sitting at about 41.42. So I'm going to break here, and when the water get up, gets up the temperature, then I'll start up the test. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Water's gotten up to 59 degrees. I have one fluid ounce of methanol in the burner. With the other tests, I let it burn for 30 seconds before I put the pot on to try to keep them all at the same advantage. I think you can see that. Okay, we're going on 18 seconds. I have two cups of water in this setting at 59 degrees. Okay, there's 30. There's that. All right, one thing with this, this pot is at a bit of a disadvantage over the Boy Scout pot. The diameter of the Boy Scout pot is five and a quarter inches. The diameter of this pot is 3.67 inches. The diameter of the let me center that. Now one of the instructions did say don't let the flames go up past the sides of the pot. I'm not sure how you do that. Okay, that's getting hot, so I'm not going to be able to use that. Anyway, where was I? Oh, the pot size difference. The diameter on this pot is 3.67 inches. So if we look back on our school, on our math skills, the area of a circle, you know, is pi r squared. And they said this would never help us. The burner diameter is two and a quarter inches. So the area of that comes out to 3.976. The area of the Boy Scout pot comes out to 21.647 square inches. 
and the area of the bottom of this pot comes out to 10.578 square inches. So if I subtract the diameter, the area of the stove versus the area of the pot, this only gives me 6.602 square inches of contact to the flames. The Boy Scout pot has 17.6 square inches. So the difference is the Boy Scout pot has almost double the flame contact as this does. But we'll see what happens here. So let's see where this gets to a boil. There we have 210. To 11, to 12 at 5:59. Cool. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the run out because it's not the stove that's up for test, but rather the pot. Let me just put this out. Still have alcohol in there. I want to weigh that. Then when it cools off. But anyway, that's kind of impressive. Even with the disadvantage of the smaller diameter, plus I had to take the lid off because the instructions does say don't let the flames come up the side of the pot because, I guess, this rubber gasket, which you have to turn on the upside, this is the way you drink out of it but this is the way you boil in it. It puts this rubber gasket on the top. The flames were coming up and starting to get close to that and it was getting hot so it could have melted it. But anyway, so I took that off without having the lid, with having the smaller diameter. This was only 10 seconds longer than with the Boy Scout pot on the same stove. On the same, yeah, the same stove. So that's pretty cool. Thing is, you just have to get some sort of a stove or a burner that has the flames coming up through the center so that it hits the center of the pot, then maybe it won't lick up the sides quite as much. Now what you do is you just take your pot with your hot water, slide it into the insulator, make your tea or coffee, whatever you want, Oops, long way. And there you've got your lid. Wait, did I do that backwards? Yeah, this is the way. You can see I haven't used this yet. So now you can have your cocoa in here. You can pick it up. This is the reason why I wasn't too worried about that cute little pot grabber. I always have a, my gloves with me. But now you can just pick it up. I feel the warmth coming through the insulator, but this isn't hard to handle. So, that was my new GSI How Do You Light? Please correct me if I'm saying that wrong. How Do You Light Mineral Minimalist? Nice little pot. I'll have to come up with a burner that I like to work with that. So, in a recap, that was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. Room temperature is 67, humidity 64%. It's cloudy out. Brought the two cups to a boil without lid. Oh, I take it in five minutes, 59 seconds. Now I subtract the 30 seconds of startup from that and it brings it to a boil in five minutes and 29 seconds. Not bad. I mean, not the fastest I've had, but not bad. So, I thank you for watching. Seeing my new GSI pot. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.
Know you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin. 